So let's start, folks. Um, I'll start off with a disclaimer. This is probably going to be the least of your technical sessions amongst all the sessions that you've been attending you know, today and tomorrow. But I think Nevedle is a very important topic for us as software testers. So firstly, to that extent, um, I'm very thankful to the conference committee for having chosen this presentation. Because I think it's all about prioritization at the end of the day, whatever we do, and especially for us as software testers. So we're going to basically look at what really is prioritization? What are the varied styles of prioritization? You know, we may all think, hey, what's new about prioritization? We all know prioritization. We do it in all walks of our life. But interestingly, there are varied styles of prioritization. So we'll look at some of those styles because what works for one is not what is going to work for the other. What works for me today is not what's going to work for me, say, a few years down the line. So we'll look at a few prioritization styles. We'll look at the scope areas of prioritization in software testing specifically, and essentially walk away with some actionable items on how we can prioritize to be better software testers. So that's simple enough in terms of the agenda. Typically, I like to start it off with a story or end it with a story or some kind of an illustration. So that's what I'm going to start it off here with. So Joe buys a brand new Lexus car. He wants to show off his luxury car to his office colleagues, so he drives it into his office. As he gets out of the car, there is a truck that comes roaring past and slams into Joe's car door. So the, Joe is obviously very, very furious. He immediately calls the cops. Cops come in in disbelief. They are in complete uh, denial. They come in shaking their head, saying Joe is really infuriated about the car's door which has been slammed into and obviously for the right reasons Joe is extremely unhappy. But why are the cops really furious with Joe? Least has Joe realized that in the process his hand was also slammed into but the guy did not realize that and as soon as the cop said that oh my god is it my left hand my Rolex watch has also gone away. So priorities are very very different for all of us right. So in this case Joe's priorities were being completely materialistic. He didn't care for his left hand, which was slammed into, but it was his Rolex watch that was his priority. So starting off with the message that it's all about priorities at the end of the day. We are all driven by priorities. So let's start off with a couple of simple quotes, right? So Dallin Oaks is a religious leader. He talks about how desires drive our priorities, priorities drive our choices, and choices drive our actions. End of the day, our actions are all driven by our priorities. And this is something which Mahatma Gandhi had mentioned back then itself, that actions express priorities. So I believe at the end.